but we might, you know, now you lot have seen me as well, calm, because this is the real me. Maybe it would be, you know, if there's arguments, maybe I'd be able to smooth it out. But what if it got violent in there, Pearl? What were you going to do if someone was up in your face like that? Let's go. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this, whether I'm in it or watching it. But if I'm not in it, I'll be, uh, listen, I'll be following every inch. Yeah. Um, do you think you've got a chance of winning? Well, I hope so. Listen, it's, uh, do, you, do you know something? And everybody's going to say you're talking bullshit. I don't think it's about the winning. I think it's just the experience of it, Angel. Have you ever met Dave Duran in real life? No. How do you two get on on TikTok? I don't know, but how do you get Friends on? We've got a love-hate relationship. We love to hate each other. <laughs> no, we don't. Listen, no, he's all right. But listen, come on. We're talking about Dave Duran here. He could go to the toilet and come back and attack you. We all know <laughs> what he is. Is DG not going in? DG Decor? I think he's put a uh, request, uh, what to call it, audition thing in. Say that again, sorry? I think he's put his audition in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask about, right, guys, should I take some questions from here? They're whinging. Ask what you want. Oh, here we go. Don't take, I'm just the messenger. Yes, you don't want to ask what you want, Angel. It's not, <coughs> they're asking <coughs> about autism. Yeah. What are you asking me, guys, to ask her about autism? They just said, ask about autism. Hello, everybody, let me know. It's going, what do you want me to ask her? Ask her about, oh, they said, ask you about Sasha Fontaine. I've only seen her a few times on the app. She's a trollop. Oh, you heard it here first. Sorry, sir. I don't like her. She's a trollop. She's a con artist. She's the biggest scammer on her, yeah? Basically, that's her in a nutshell. Okay. What did you want me to ask? Autism awareness. Oh, is this too personal? All right, sorry. Right, I'm just going to ask, and again, just say no comment. Just ask me, go on. So they said, was you married? Yes. For 30 wow. years. And how was that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm divorced now. Okay, so there you go. She was married for 30 years and is divorced. Been divorced for eight years. Uh, they are trolling. Who's trolling? Guys, I need, listen, Devon, write the questions. Set, you pick some question there and write in capital letters so I can ask. Ask her. Oh, God. Just ask me anything. They're asking about some autistic guy. <gasps> the one about Scotty. Yeah, they keep saying Scotty. Yeah, right. I don't know. Is it Scot Scotty boy, I think. No, what I was on about tonight, there's a page on here, Exposed... And they've got a young lad that's on there. Well, it's not on the page exposed, but it's all the same ones from Exposed goes on to there. And I was only on about this today. And I've seen him a few times, and he's definitely, definitely a million percent got learning difficulties. Everybody said he's got autism. Mm. But I don't know. Even still, I still think he's got, like, He's got le definitely a million percent he's got learning difficulties. I don't know if it's autism or it is. People say he said he's got autism. But what I'm saying, why that conversation come about was because I've watched a few videos and we have a woman called Laura who comes into our chat, mine and Angie's. And sometimes she'll request the box and it depends, uh, my angel, what the topic of conversation is, is whether to lift it up. Tell you the same girl was. Um, Laurie, I'm on about coming to a box and Paige she was there and she got excited saying Paige she was, and she was saying in the comments, I know where you live because it was the same place where Paige lives and we had to like, that's not okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Boxing. And Scotty puts me in the mind of Laura, so I don't know, but he's definitely, definitely got learning difficulties. And what I said was I didn't like it that we sit on his page. He plays all the videos of what's going on and get me a bit of accounts took down. It's only a young kid. 
and for a million percent, in my opinion, he's definitely got learning difficulties. I said learning difficulties. Everybody said he comes out and says he's got autism, but it looks something more than that, if you know what I mean. So I think so that's what he's asking you, if it's any different. Oh, he's our friend, our brother, and we love him. Uh, yeah. uh, right. I think it's just like, I don't know. They're, they're saying you laughed or you mocked at him or something. No, definitely not. And listen, if I've done anything like that, shame on me. We have a, a woman that comes into the chat and it's called Laura Loves Pugs. And I won't let her up on the platform if the topics is a big thing. And that's how Scotty puts me in the mind of. And I just think it's awful. Okay. Any more questions, guys? What are you talking about? What are they talking about? EDL learning difficulties. Everybody said he's got autism. Mm. I don't know. Even still, I still think he's got like, he's got le definitely a million percent he's got learning difficulties. I don't know if it's autism or if it is. People say he said he's got autism. But what I'm saying, why that conversation come about was because I've watched a few videos and we have a woman called Laura who comes into our chat, mine and Angie's. And sometimes she'll request the box and it depends, uh, my angel, what the topic of conversation is, is whether to lift it up. Tell you the same girl was. Um, Laurie went on about coming to a box and Paige was there and she got excited saying Paige was, and she was saying in the comments, I know where you live because it was the same place where Paigey lives and we had to like, that's not okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Boxing. And Scotty puts me in the mind of Laura, so I don't know, but he's definitely, definitely got learning difficulties. And what I said was I didn't like it that we sit on his page, he plays all the videos of what's going on and get his bit of accounts took down. He's only a young kid. And for a million percent, in my opinion, he's definitely got learning difficulties. I said learning difficulties. Everybody said he comes out and says he's got autism. But it looks something more than that, if you know what I mean. So I think so that's what he's asking you, if it's any different. Oh, he's our friend, our brother, and we love him. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. They're saying you laughed or you mocked at him or something. No, definitely not. And listen, if I've done anything like that, shame on me. We have a, a woman that comes into the chat and it's called Laura Loves Pugs. And I won't let her up on the platform if the topics is a big thing. And that's how Scotty puts me in the mind of. And I just think it's awful. Okay. Any more questions, guys? What are you talking about? What are they talking about? EDL burgers. What's that about? Right. When I was getting called a racist constantly, non-stop, as amongst every other word that they could mention. Listen, this has gone on for months and months and months, right? And then I kept getting called um, Tommy Robinson supporter. And can you remember when the, tic the big TikTok uh, party was going, the EDL party? So they kept coming at us with EDL. So then I said, well, oh, I'm going to be called to that. So I put an ADL burger in the burger van. Named it after what I was keep getting called. And a Tommy Robinson burger. That's what they asked me. Yes, I did. Done videos to prove it. Keep poking and you'll get a reaction. But sometimes, Pearl, sometimes we got to be the bigger one, innit? We're well, I know, but you know me, don't you? I'm very fiery. I'm very hot-headed. And this didn't stop for months. It didn't stop, Angel. And I just... All right, I'm going to ask the question myself. Do you yes. support EDL exclusive? Yes or no? I haven't got no? a fucking clue what EDL is and I haven't got a fucking clue who Tommy Robinson is. All right, one minute. Alexa, what is EDL? The English Defense League is a far-right Islamophobic organization in England. Oh. I'm still none the wiser, so explain it to us. Uh, Devon, can you explain in the comment what does it mean? So I'm glad you didn't understand that. No, well. so it's it's is Islamophobic against Islam. Oh, definitely, no, definitely not. See, so I didn't even know it meant that. E D L question mark. 
I know it was English League something, but I don't know what it's for, what it means. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Uh, Yvonne, this is my interview, darling. If you don't like it, I'm going to mute you anyway because you're getting on my nerves. Don't ask me why I'm asking my son nothing. Do you understand? Uh, you look great. Oh, thank you. A bit like National. Oh, it's a bit like the National Front. I don't even understand what that's about. Listen, you know, people don't believe me, right? For living in a gypsy and traveller community, for where we at. The only, and please, please do not, to, I don't know how to word my words properly, the only form of around this part of the country of anybody who's not of white skin, so I don't know which way to word this, is when we go and get food anywhere. People don't believe, I've never come into contact with a black person, with somebody from Pakistan, from somebody from India, from somebody from wherever. Where you live, there's no other culture. Even where we've travelled around, we travel in a big group, like a big, massive family group that's extended. You go on to Appleby, it's like to the fairs and things. And I've never come across anybody. So, do you know what I'm at? Like, don't ask us why. But more. Yeah, we, see, we see black people, Indian people on TV. More of gypsy and travel. I'm all about mixing with them, Angel. I'm all okay. about mixing with them. More of our gypsies and travellers, London side. I know that they're like good friends with Muslim people, with black people, with all races. But I, I, had, I have travel of friends. I have travel of friends. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But up this path, the northeast County Durham, I swear. Now, only 16 miles up the road is a town like Middlesbrough. But understand as well, we don't mess with um, how, like non-gypsies, non-travellers. So you just stick with your own community. It's our own community. But even our community down London mess with like uh, black people, with Muslim people. It's different. It's different. It's, it's very different when you get down to there. Like a lot of our people in Bradford mess with a lot of Muslim people. Or even not just the blacks, even to Muslim people. We've never messed around this area, if you know what I mean. Mm. I don't know which way to word things, but... So the very most controversial subject you know, it's like you knew before you come on, everyone's asking about the racist thing. Right. Ask what you want. Right. Guys, write the questions and I will ask. I'm just the messenger. Uh, Google is free. <laughs> what we Guys, anybody got any serious questions? Let me know in the comments. Anything? Pearl, are you spiritual? Yeah, before that goes off. What do you mean? Um, what, are you spiritual? Like, I'm psychic, clairvoyant. Anybody in your family? Your mum, your grandmother? I'm not bad, am I? I end up giving her a reading, look. <laughs> Go on then, so what do you feel? Tell us why you're here. Well, straight away, I'm going to say your grandmother. Is it your grandmother that's around me right now? And what I want to say, because when I go cold on the arms, it's either a grandmother or mother. So I don't know if your mum's still here, but I've got your grandmother come through. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a dog with her. So think of a childhood dog or a dog that's fast. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. They just come in during the interview. So, yeah, that's that was nice. with a little dog tuppence. Right, I'm cold again. So I feel I was just about to say it and I've gone freezing cold. She's like, say it. I feel it was your grandmother that was the psychic with the crystal yeah. ball, everything proper. Am I right? Yeah. What all right. Mom? So I'm freezing cold. She's here right now. I don't know if you've got goosebumps on your arms. You've gone cold. Mm. So I want you to know she's here right now. The dog's here with me. I've got this bloody dog. The dog will be with your grandmother. Yeah. So I don't know if you had a dog as a child. Yeah. So that's all I get. I don't see. Look, I'm ice cold. She's bang here. She would have that's been proper. Like, yeah. You think hell will give you some? Flipping granny will knock your lights out. One inch yeah. punch, mate. Yeah. So I'll mess Definitely. With that. Definitely. <laughs> So that's crazy. That's a little bit of what I do as well, but I don't do medium shit. But when I asked you, you're spiritual, I already know it's in the blood. Mm. I've answered that for you. 
So don't don't you practice on your friends and that, or do you don't like doing it? I don't like doing it. You run away from the gift. <laughs> it's not easy, love. You know what I mean? Um, what's that, Mama G? Guys, any questions? I don't know what to ask now. On Just ask me anything. Ask me anything. It's fine. Like right, everyone's saying, I need to speak on the racism. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, yeah, I'm just in the middle. Like, right? so you tell me from your perspective what happened. Anybody want to put input in the comments or questions that I can ask? You know, we're doing it nicely. We're sitting down. You know, come on, come on. just let them ask whatever they want. That's fine. Well, how did it happen, Pearl? Like you and Laura, wasn't it? In your right. words, everything. Yeah, basically. I want to hear your side. There you go. A chance to speak. Yeah, I'm biased. I'm just. I've had a chance to speak because I've spoke a lot on it. What had happened was, Team Shep used to come in and troll me all the time, right? And I know some of them will be in there listening. Could, Laura could be in there herself. Anyway, they used to come in and troll me. They could listen, Angel. You've known me long enough. You couldn't troll me, right? But yeah. I went to the one with a long t for a long time, and I really did like him. Well, I still like him is a young lad called... Who's that? Z Sorry, who's that? Zach Daly. Okay. Anyways, he used to come on with me, we'd have a laugh all night, and this night he went, oh my God, this is how we started, oh my God, oh my God, and I went, Zach, calm down. I knew what was happening. I said, just look at me. I said, right, Zach, why don't you end the live and come up for 10 minutes, and that's what he done. So anyways, they didn't even bother coming back into me. He just went, sure enough, Zach come live, he must have been watching, bang, back in his comments. Anyway, in it, it, listen, I don't know if that part was left on, but it should have been because we were both live, somebody will have screen record, he had, he nearly had a mental breakdown, right? End of. So then, I was absolutely boiling, and I, I said, request Laura, I want Laura to come on and say, like, it was all Team Chef. The name was there. It wasn't like, you can't say it wasn't me. Anyway, so she just kept ignoring us. So I went and found her. Mm. Anyway, one thing led to another. We start arguing. And then she was just like laughing in his face. And I said what I said. And I would say that as like being you cheeky Kent, right? But take it in mind as well, never in my life, never, and not one person on the staff or outside the staff can come to me and say, you're a dirty fucking liar. You have argued with a black person because I was remember when you argued with, you can't ever do that. So that word that I used, and I'm not even saying it because I've asked our blessed Lord God to take that word out of my mouth, right? That word I used, I've used it all all my life. And whoever believes us, believes us. But listen, it, I'm not that fussed no more because I keep thinking to myself, why am I explaining to everybody? I know I'm telling the truth and there's only one person and he's up there that I have to stand to in judgment day and that the blessed Lord God has to take everything in this world that I love. And I never have the power to see my grandbabies or my children or my sisters and brothers and I've got a sister who could die just like that because she's waiting for a heart, right? And I love my sister and I love my children and my grandchildren. I've got no needs to tell lies. I don't know how many people on this app. And Chelsea is a liar. She's a born face liar because I've called her on a number of occasions, right? Anyway, that's by and the by. But it's a word I used all my life. Even my children use it and so do my grandchildren. I've even got a video where two of my grandsons is going at it in the back and then the other one said, Granny, Isaac's just called me that word, right? Mm -hmm. That was that. So I called her that. That's my word when I'm mad, right? And I'm not making yeah, no I'm ask you a question. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you um, properly apologised? Because you hurt, you know, obviously. Like, did you apologise? Of course I did, but this went wrong too. Because... Yeah, no, no, no. So if I was to bring Laura on this stage, maybe? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Not in a million years. Mm. No. <laughs> Two... Everybody else who I hurt, I sincerely apologised, right? She's done nothing but take the complete nut of piss out of me ever since. 
And I sat there and let everybody have dig after dig after dig after dig, and I'm not sitting doing it no more. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. Why, why wouldn't you apologise? Like one on one, like we're talking. Because, because when I wanted to say sorry to her, she said definitely not, and I'll never accept an apology. She's only been asked once, and she'll never ever get asked again. What would you do if Laura's put in the house? Bring it on. Oh my gosh, you heard it here. <laughs> so there can't be no union like. Definitely not. I don't like it. She doesn't like me. Let's just move on and do our own thing. Any other question? Any other question? Come on, guys. Any other question? Oh, it's what Laura was being awkward. It's all gone quiet. So what about the second time? Somebody Wait, said the second time, right? <laughs> no, I'm like, I'll answer. I don't care. Whatever they want to ask, I'll answer the second time. So how I've just explained to you, I said to my kids and I said to my grandkids, if you go back onto that screen recording, that live, whatever was going around TikTok, in the box is my daughter-in-law and the grandchildren, right? So there was something said and I turned around and I said, you pack a cheeky fucking and said that word again. I was talking to my family in that box. So the next day I couldn't understand why it was the big uproar, which I shouldn't have said that word again. And then even after that, I kept saying, it's my word. I will keep saying it. But then I had to understand it hurt a lot of people, that word. I did, I, see, I did see you mm -hmm. sobbing your heart out. No, all for all, I still... Like, now I do, well, that's a bare face lie, right? because, like, now I've been told that many times, of course I realise the way the people took it, but to me, can I show you something, Goddess, right? This is how much I say this, right? And this little teddy will be 10 or 12 years old, maybe longer. Please don't call it that word, don't do it. <laughs> it's teddy, I've just said. I know, but don't call him no names. No, but watch. watch. Okay. Let me show you I something. don't want to see this monkey thing now. Please don't do it. No, just to show you, because there's an embroidery on it. And it oh. was just to show you that two of my kids have always called them it. And they've all got one, but this is my daughter who's here with me now, and I want you to read what's on there. And it says, Jane Ann, love you always, ma'am, and a kiss. And look where it is. Please believe me, I've always called the kids it. There's the little proof. Like, I've got, I don't, listen, I don't know. Nobody's ever going to believe us, right? But as long as I know I wasn't um, racist, and him up there knows I wasn't racist, that's Blue all. Eyes, Blue Eyes Kelly says, I believe her. Alison says, light up. Sophie says, love her. Listen, everybody's going to have the opinion, but I'm just, try, I'm just trying to show you. Why would I buy that, like, a, a teddy like that? And have a, um, a thing for on its jumper. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've always mm. called them that. Oscar. It believes us. I don't, I, honestly, as long as I know. Ask her what effect did it have on her mental health? What, the argument? Big thing? effect, because on screen I was putting over I don't care, but my friends off TikTok, as well as... Some friends on TikTok, who was also my friends off TikTok, seeing I went through a very, very bad time over that because it didn't matter what I said, which way I turned, like nobody believed it wasn't. You know what? I just wish, you know, I just wish that you could just, you know, squash it. He's watching us. I know he is. And well, forgiveness is a blessing. But listen. I offered it, she said no, she'll never get the chance again. I'm sorry. But maybe at the time she was, she was so upset that she couldn't accept the apology. No, because she still runs her mouth. Like, yeah, now, time, now time's gone. Maybe I'll get Laura on here to interview Laura next, you know? You know, maybe I'll try and be the peacemaker and see, you know, obviously she's really hurt, you know? But you know what she said that night as well when that happened? She went, yes, I knew I'd get her to do something. Come on. And that's out there on a screen recording. Somebody said, somebody put, uh, bonjour said, um, no, not bonjour. Who just said that? Uh, 
I can't read your name. And Pearl didn't prove this until now, people. Well, good. That's what I hope my show does. Like, you get a little exclusive. People open up a bit more. And I want everybody to have a voice, isn't it? Mm. You know, we need more love on this app. Don't you not get sick and tired of arguing day in, day in. And it makes you ill. You're there crying. She's there crying. Everyone else is crying. It makes us all ill. Do you know what I mean? I want to see the creators. I'm going to be very sorry to hear what I heard, but again, because I, I still get it called now that when I spark alive, but that's all it is. Um, yeah, but don't you want to quash it, Pearl? Don't you just want it done with? Like, what I'm saying, why I poked back when I kept saying, that's my word, I've always said it, I will use it, I will use it. I did, I'll tell the truth, I went on like a two-year-old, right? Um, and I shouldn't have dug me eels in because... It was just, it was being child, very, very childish, right? But I've said me sorry, so I ain't going to say it no more. And if from Can now, we just say it? Can we just say it like she's here through the screen and just try and quash it? Please. Who? Laura. Oh, I don't want, I don't ever want to speak to the I don't like oh, it. She didn't like me at all. Through the screen. Like, no, I'm so it was, listen, it was offered to her and she's... Me, no, you definitely not goddess. I love you. You know I love you dearly. We've never had a crossword. Listen, definitely not. She's made videos about us, and which I've retaliated and made them back. Def listen, right, then, what about this? Then? What about this? Then? We don't like somebody, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you don't get on with her. She don't get on with you. So we'll stay in our own names, and I, I'm not fussed that I don't you get know, on. Why with can't her. we just? If you don't like each other. I don't want her to talk about you, you to talk about her. Kind I don't of... speak about her. Okay. I really do not speak about her. About any other this? questions, guys? The thing, any other questions? Any questions, guys? In fact, she doesn't even enter my head for to speak about her. And I, but I do speak about the racism when it's fetched up. And like I'm saying, I've got nothing to hide. My story will never change, no matter how many times you ask us. Oh, oh, oh here's a question, um, Pearl. Yes. What is Pearl's relationship look like with Miss Red and Luke? Uh, the judge. Luke the judge. Are we friends what's or? Called? They said, what's your... Hang on. Me and Luke... Oh, sorry, I've, I know now. Me and Luke the judge don't speak, but me and Donna is fine. But we have a relationship off TikTok, not on TikTok. Because yeah. when I do something or say something wrong, they call it to Donna. When Donna does something, they'll come to me. So now we just, we don't really bother on TikTok. Like it doesn't bother me if she comes in my box the same as it doesn't bother her. Didn't you go raving? Didn't you go raving with Evil Queen and Miss Red? Did you meet Angie in a bar or something? No? No. It was Luke, Miss Red. And then there was another girl called Claire and her husband and um, Miss Red's husband, Simon. We had a lovely night, a lovely weekend. I saw a bit of that, you lot were in the yeah. bar. A lovely weekend. But that's what I think we should do. All the creators, you know, TikTok need to, they need to have a mansion with top security, passports only, and they are... Can I can tell you this as well. Why me and Luke fell out for was because Luke walked away from me, as he said, for being a racist, right? But yet, he went and met up with CLA. After he chucked me under the curb and run us over with the bus and reversed back over, he went into CA Fats and he gifted her I don't know how many times. So he walked away from me for being a racist, but she was out there and had come out of her mouth the N-word and he went in and gifted her and then he went to meet her. So come on, make it make sense. You know what, Tamara, I need, don't you? Clout's everything, right? And you know, to save the fucking platform is everything. Well, what they can go and do is go and kiss my hole, end of, I've only got myself to know I'm not a bad person, I'm a good person, and for the judgment of him up there one day. Well, someone said to you, Pearl is a lovely woman goddess, <laughs> and it was taken out of content. Any other question for Pearl? And tell, tell me, uh, what do you like doing off of TikTok? Like, what's your passions? Have you got a hidden, you know, are you good at a sport? What do you do? Do you swim? Do you play tennis? Tell us something that it's people don't know tennis. about you. I can swim, but I love yeah. a holiday. Um, I just like, I don't know, I just like our own company, like doing things, like family things and that. So 
Oh, I don't know. What about love? Would no, you date it's... anyone? No, because listen, <laughs> I'm off a gypsy family, right? I was married for 30 years, divorced now for eight years, nine years coming. And I would never embarrass myself, like going on this TikTok for the house, right? Mm. For instance, if there was anything going on there, that's my, as a big, gold ass airy ass woman to walk away if there was any dirt and filth going on. I've got a lot of respect for myself, but more so for my children. If they were talking anything like dirt and vibe, they can talk what they want, it's not coming out my mouth. But I'd walk away and I'd go and clean the kitchen, I'd go and clean the bathroom, I'd go and do something. If you get me meaning, but as far as anything like that, I'm quite happy on my own. I had me I, I think you're going to play like the motherly role, like you said. Like, you know, you know, cleaning, doing the washing up is very therapeutic. I said yes. I've locked myself in the bathroom. If it all kicks off, I'm going in the bathroom, leave me out of it. Exactly, exactly. What's oh. it? But no, so so I'd never, no, I'd never ever go there with anything like that because, listen, I've had me, me married life and I've got me beautiful family and it was not, uh, we've just moved on, that's all. We've just, listen, we fell out of love, we were making each other unhappy and then we started where we're making their extended family unhappy. So what was the point of that? Mm -hmm. Being apart and everybody else being happy. Well, my friend Muddy, she said, um, how many dogs have you got? Five. Five? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> You're all asleep. I've got two little Shih Tzus, Peaches and Precious. Then I've got two toy um, sausage dogs, what's the product? Dash arms. That's Winnie and Dolly. And then a little toy poodle, which is Ellie. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you something, well, you might not find it funny, but Luke, he's got horses, isn't it? There's yes. one called Pearl. He you called it after me, he called it after me when we were still friends. Well, he still called it Pearl because he showed me the horses the other day when that one's Pearl. I went, what? <laughs> See? We've got horses too, so. Do you think you would make up, you and Luke? I'm not saying we wouldn't speak, but we can't ever be friends because he kicked me for CA fat, which is the out... What well, I would class an uh, out and out racist for what you said. I'm sorry. I'll say it like this and I'll say it for a face too. Mm -mm. And I don't agree with none of that. And you know why I don't agree with that? Because of the family where you come from every single day in life. We put up with shit chucked in the So I would never in a million years hurt anybody else by doing anything. It was just the wrong word to the wrong person. And so it was my cross to bear. But I know I'm not a bad person, I'm, and that's on everything in this world that I love. If the Lord has to take it from us, all of my kids and grandkids, I'm not a racist. Never have been, and never will be. Uh, <laughs> Guys, any more questions? Talk to me. Um, ask her. Yeah, tell me how you and Angie, the relationship that you and Angie have. That like, was how, how did that come toxic, around? Toxiest, whatever. I don't even know how to say the word. Relationship on the app. Me and her went at it like there was no tomorrow. We were definitely like two bulls locking horns. And we absolutely couldn't abide each other, right? And this went on for a good 12 months, right? And then we were even going to do... Embarrassing now when I think about it. Excellent to smoke. We had what? a fourth, fourth of April gone in London and we were doing Sunday smoke in the boxing ring. And that smoke. But it got that toxic. We were going for a proper fight. Right? Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> and, oh my god, and what happened to that? It didn't happen, did it? It didn't happen and <laughs> like listen. I could see Angie was struggling, right? And I'm sorry, but if I see somebody hurt and if I see somebody struggling, listen, there's nobody in this world I hate, nobody, and I still don't hate. And hate's a bad word to say. But I watched it just from the sidelines for a few days and the woman was crumbling in front of my eyes and she actually melted me out and I cried over it. 
Mm. And then I had the worst night's sleep ever at watching how, how she'd slip down this slippery slope. And the next day, it was like, you know, when you've got that urge to do something and I had to reach out to her and I said, I sent me number, I got her number and I sent me number and I just put on the message, Angie, I said, listen, I'm not kissing your ass, but this is my number, it's Pearl. I said, whether we're friends or not, if ever you need to speak to anybody or reach out, this is my number. I'll never ever block you from this number and if you need to use it. And I was on a live and I, do you know what I was talking about when I started to cry and then who come in the box but Angie? Mm. <laughs> Listen, we made it up and I still get choked up when I think about it now because she's in a very, she's going back to that bad place and sometimes I do get worried over her. Um, yeah, but you know what I'm saying, look, you and Angie were like that. You and Laura like that. Anything is possible. That's all I'm saying. But listen, no. Honestly, I just don't want to with Laura. All because I wanted to reach out and it just was cut off blank. Where Angie, at least she gave me that little bit of leeway when I reached out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know it sounds hard and horrible to people and I'll be called all kinds in your comments, but listen, that's me. In the future, I don't know, it could be whenever. You never know, you should never say never, you never that's know. That's what I'm trying to say, this is what I'm trying to say. But just not, not in the near future because, like yeah, I say, in life we never say never, because we never no, know. Honestly. No, because do you know something like, for all I don't want to speak to her, I don't wish the woman no bad because I don't know the I don't wish anybody no bad, but I do, definitely do not wish Laura no bad. I don't wish her any hurt or any any heartache or anything. And if ever, ever she was like in a a really bad place, like I know that if ever anybody come and said to me she's in a really, really, really bad place. I would be a one to reach out. I know I would be, because that's just me. You know, you just said the motherly figure. I'm very that way. I wouldn't hurt nobody, honestly. I wouldn't Carla, hurt Carla said, uh, does Pearl have any regrets in life in general, anything? None. <laughs> and do you know something? I've done bad things in my life, and I've done good things in my life. But what the way I look at it, from the day we're born to the day we die, your life is, is mapped out for me. And even the bad things that happened in my life has made me who I am today. So if you change one of them things, then I wouldn't be me. So no, I don't regret anything. Okay, I've got another question. So they want to know, what have you learned from the whole experience? What experience? The, the racist thing, whatever happened. Oh, to stop proving myself because how I've just said it a lot of times, I've got nobody to prove myself to. As long as my family know that my heart is good and that I'm not a liar and I'm definitely not what I've been called for months and months and months. And as long as him up there knows my heart, that no. Okay. If you want God to succeed, we will be exactly this, bro. Pearl is amazing, honest woman. Okay, let's think. Tell me some more about Pearl, something that they don't know about you on the app. Well, they all know I'm a Kent. <laughs> yeah. what do That's we your word. You need to get t shirts done. Hashtag, I'm not a, or whatever. You know? know. Everybody's a Kent. I call everybody a Kent. Um, what do, they, they know everything because there's nothing. Listen, I'm like this, right? I'm a proper open book. And I do not keep anything in. And even if you ask me in three or four year time, I'd still tell you the same story because I always try my hardest just to be open and honest is the most important thing in my life. I couldn't have a liar around us because I pride myself on my own honesty, right? Because mm -hmm. I'd rather have a thief than a liar. You can catch a thief, but it's very hard to catch a liar. I pride myself on just being honest and as open as I can be. So, I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I don't fucking understand myself. 
All right, what's the best, what is the funniest moment that you've had on TikTok or one of the best? To me, it was you and Chelsea doing that dance. That was just iconic. Well, funny enough, me and Angie, believe it or not, has had one thing after another after another. But tonight, I was stood out at the front of the trailer on the steps at the front. And Angie's on the other side of the screen. Honestly, I've nearly pissed myself. So, are you, um, are you two going to meet up? Have you ever met yet? Yes, you no, know? we're going to meet because we're doing Liverpool in a couple of weeks' time. You're going to Liverpool? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we're definitely meeting up. So, I'm sort of having a, having a fag. And anyway, so my dog, Precious, was outside. So, anyway, I t and Angie's in the back, in her side, doing whatever. And I turned around and I went, oh, I said, be a good girl and go and have a little piss. <laughs> And she, she turned around and she went, Bloody hell, Pearl, I thought you was talking to me. She thought what? I thought I was saying to her, be a good girl and go and have a piss. Well, I'm here to see you two link it up. It sound that funny, but it was the way it happened, her reaction and me with the dogs. And it was just, I couldn't stop laughing, I hurt my belly. And the tears was rolling down my head. And yeah, wouldn't you bring off. Angie? Wouldn't you bring Angie to where you are now? Give her the full experience. Oh, I've asked her to come. Any, t she's welcome here anytime. Honestly, anybody's always welcome. If anybody come here, the we get they get fed, they get watered. There's always a bed to sleep in. Wherever we've got, we'll share it with them. That's how we are. Okay. Somebody has said, "How does her family?" How does your family feel about you being on TikTok? They don't like it. Huh? They don't like it? <laughs> oh, God. No. You're a right rebel, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, they just they don't like it. He says, so, it's, it's not nice. And I said, shut the fuck up. I'm so when you came on the app, what, what was your goal? What was your intention? Like no, me, I wanted to be an no, over... It was just doing a silly little few videos and then I got a bit braver and uh, I start doing lives and then from then on, like it was a bit, I wasn't myself when I first started, like only the first few weeks because I'd never ever, like I don't even know these big fancy words but I'd never make myself something I'm not if you know what I mean. All it was, I was just... I was shy and I didn't know what to say to people because, like, now it doesn't. Honestly, I'm sitting, you know, if I'm playing a game, like a match sometimes, I chat away to my comments that much, I forget the person's on the other side. And then I see them doing this, the game's ended and capturing attention. I just, I'm just copying myself. That's what I said, even in the house. What you see with me is what you get. And no matter how drunk I get, how much in a bad mood I get, there would never be anything untoward come out my mouth. Deb, write in capital letters. Everybody ask your questions, please. Okay, so somebody else said, name an event that changed you and made you who you are today. That's a big one, isn't it? Event. Basically just life. Like going through, like I've just said there, there's not one thing that I would change, even going to prison, nothing. Uh, because it's all them little small things that make you you, same as you, goddess. It's oh, somebody said, what is your biggest achievement? Your children. Oh. Would you say TikTok has impacted your life for the better? What does that mean? I don't know what. So do you think TikTok's made your life better or has it hindered you? Like... Eh... Uh... I don't know how to answer that. I don't know because I enjoy TikTok and I love coming on here for a chat. And I love, you know, my supporters that saying every. Is it, they're asking, like, has it made your life better or worse? Well, I get a lot of earache from the kids, but bound from that, no different. Yeah, you get what? Sorry? Earache from the kids. <laughs> what, your kids or? About TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. How do you feel being labelled a racist? Listen, I, that's my cross to bear. I know I'm not, so it doesn't affect us that much, if you know what I mean. It did. It really, truly did. But now I've had it said to us every time I come live, 
constantly all the way through my lives because I even say to my mods, do not block anything out. Listen, it is what it is. I can't do anything about it. I can't make people believe me. So what can I do about it? Nothing. They said, who else does Pearl dislike on the app and why? Listen, there's nobody that I actually don't like. Nobody, right? Yeah, you'll come on and if somebody says something, but just because you argue with people doesn't mean you don't like them. Ask her, uh, how's your TikTok shop going, said Chelsea. Oh, well, I've got uh, my products. They've, they've sold out, honestly. They've absolutely sold out. It's done amazing. You see? Um, somebody else said, how long have you had the burger van for? About five years now. Okay. Another one of these ones. What do your kids think of the racist comments? Oh, they thought it was hilarious because they know I'm not. They said, really, ma'am, you getting yourself into bother on this TikTok. Mm -hmm. Any more questions, guys? Talk to me. Thank you for the follow. Tap the screen, share the live. Pearl, your TikTok video was hilarious, somebody said. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Ask her to explain what the brick buildings are on the site. They each oh. have... It's a day room. It's a day room. So it's got a big kitchen in, a big bathroom in it, um, all heated floors. But every plot, every individual plot that's on here has got one on. So like a day room. Oh, they said your shower video. Why? What happened in the shower? Oh, that's me, Angie and Torian. I was on holiday. So oh, Angie's yeah. obviously done a, a video in the shower. Yeah, I saw that bit of Angie. I thought, what's going yeah. on here? So then Torian had duetted it, and when I was uh, on, on holiday, I seen it, I thought, oh, well, he's going to be a funny moment because when I duetted, Angie was here, I was here, and Torian was in the middle. It was a bit of fun. There was no nothing bad ever said in any of the comments. It was a bit of fun. Yeah, I'll, have to, look, I'll have to look out for it. Will Pearl date again? If not, why? No, no, I'm too old. I'm one, nearly one foot out the clay. Listen, I've had a <laughs> husband. Um, no. As they say, it's better to have loved than never loved at all. Exactly, exactly. I'm quite happy and content just the way I am now. So I couldn't be fucked on with anybody else getting in me like to tell me the truth. It took us 30 years to get rid of that, Becca. Does her family live a traditional traveller lifestyle? Eh, well, they all married into gypsies again. So, and I never once said to them, like, you have to marry a gypsy or you have to marry this and that and the other because that's their life. Again, same as me, they didn't ask to be a gypsy. You were born into that life. And why should I keep my beliefs and traditions onto my kids? But you do live a traditional life. Not to be forced. It's just. Well, are you enjoying this little life? Well, because listen, even if you ask me all these questions again in 12 months, it'd just be the same. Because I'm, yeah, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you when you come out the house. I can't yeah, wait. I'm that's just well. always open and honest. And that's how I try to be on my lives. And like I say, everybody knows me. And you hear some silly people say, we're doing an exposure. I say, oh my God, wait till I get some popcorn because I want to fucking know what I've said or done next. Because <laughs> <laughs> I expose myself on a daily basis, on not Are you enjoying the interview? Yeah, it's been good. Thanks, Bobby. Somebody said, don't go out in Liverpool. They are rioting, seeing fireworks off uncontrolled. No, we'll have to see how that goes. We'll have to see how it goes. But we definitely, me and Angie, had it for a couple of weeks' time. I um, can't wait. I can't wait to get the exclusive. You might come out after the first day. You might bloody win it. You but don't know, do you? But listen, even if you're out after the first day, it would just be nice to say you were in there. Exactly. That's what I thought, even if I went yeah. in for a day. Like, I'm going to go and just meet a few people and go. Yeah. Uh, and, and another bit of gossip about the Big Brother house. Oh. Um, <laughs> all the creators now, I've heard on the grapevine, everybody who goes in is getting paid. Well done, Devon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because well done, Devon. 
Yeah, because, you know, my son did bring it up, um, you know. Uh, now's my chance. Am I going in, Dev? Oh, I want to go in. Is Devin still there yet? Tell Devin I do come in and watch his lives every day, but I do come in on a fake account. I did tell him today because I was watching you and Angie earlier. So I went, yes. Yeah. Do you know I do, God, just because I do. I like Devin. Yeah, but he's like me. We, we, look, we're open. Oh, listen, man. listen, I wouldn't do that to him. If I went in there and he talks to us because I comment to him all the time and he talks to us. Under but your full account. No, listen, I'm not going to bring bad feelings to anybody else because of me. So it's better doing it that way. But I do like listening to them. Aww. Um, what else? Let me see. People have passed away too much. Can't wait to actually get some. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Well, I'm giving you credit. Dave. Oh, he said, wow, yes, because I heard her. And Angie, I was watching you lot. I always watch yeah, Angie. Yeah. yeah, I come in and I think, she, you know, me and Angie, I've only ever battled her once. It was fucking hilarious. But you know, I, I did say that today to Angie. I did. So you have to you see me and Angie battle. Like, yeah. the battle, she was funny. Like, the first thing I ever heard about Angie, I was like, what the hell? That's um, uh, what she said about, oh, it was naughty, about all these bad things i was like what is this woman for real what she said but honestly you can you have your interview with her and honestly she, she's just she's funny so do you think you've got a friend for life there i hope so because i really really listen nobody on tiktok would have thought that me and her would have hit it off like we have and listen i'm not even going to say that me and Andrew won't ever row again because of course we're going to but that's what friends do you have to be able to tell your, you, you haven't got to blow smoke up the ass all the time, my goddess. You have to be able to say, well, I think you're a bit of a Kent. I didn't like the way you said that. And listen, if it kicks up, it kicks up, but it's not going to stop us from being friends. And I would love to think that me and Angie can be lifelong friends. Somebody said, Pearl, are you naturally blonde? No, there's my colour. And you, the dark bits in it, wherever, no. Did you have long hair when you were young? Oh, it was like a... Honestly, I used to be able to sit on it. It was in a big plait, and it used to take days and days to dry. A big plait. They used to wrap it in bed sheets because one of my traveller friends... Oh, was that's a uh, rag curls. Oh, we had this girl called Jane, and I've never seen a girl with the most beautiful curls, and they used to wrap it in bed sheets, she told us. Uh, yeah. Well, I had my long hair till I was turned 16, right? And the very, very first money I ever got, and I used to put it, it was down my back, a big, heavy plait, and I used to be able to sit on it. When it was left loose, my hair was right down, like, you know, like between your backside and your knee, like down there. Yeah, because in the 70s, they used to have really long hair. We don't see girls with long hair anymore. And anyway, so the first proper money I ever got, and I thought, oh my God, I'm going to have this off. Worse you cut it all off. I went down, and anyway, the woman cut me plait, and tied it and she said, I'll do your hair for nothing if I can keep your plait. I thought, fucking have the plait, I don't want it. Anyways, went back up to my granny and she just, I swear to God, she just looked at us and it was just after Easter it must have been. And I remember getting this Mars bar cup, it was black and it had red writing, Mars on it, right? She said, one minute, she let me through the door and listen, she, I've still got the big hole in the top of my head. She broke the cup over us I was dripping in claret because I can't say it on here. She went, get back down there and tell her if she doesn't give that plaque back, she's getting the same. I was covered in it. I had to go back down. She just, oh! she looked at us like this when I went through the air. She's got the plaque back. She went, you're bad. Don't ever come in my shop again. That's what I got for getting the air cut. She said That's I was a man hunting. Cut that down a bit. You had a plaque. What's she do to the plaque? The woman in the shop cut it, cut it off. No, she said, I'll do your air for nothing. Yeah. If I can keep your plat. So I thought, mm. fuck, keep the air, I don't want it. So nah, I put, she could have done anything with that. Yeah, it, well, so she put um, elastic bands at either side of the plat, put it in the back, then done me air. Oh, I never just had a cut, I had these streaks in. Then you used to get a hat on your head and pull it all through your hair. Come out, thought it was a Paris model. Oh, please. <laughs> Went back to my granny's and I was, she absolutely man-mangled us. 
Oh, look, Sandra O'Donnell says, these two interviews have been lovely. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Guys, get your questions in. Get your questions in now or forever hold your peace. Somebody did ask again. Hang on, here we go. Cause I'm... Ah! Um, here we go, Pearl. Who has taught you the most about racism on the app? <laughs> Pagey. Pagey. In what way? Because, well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, guys, I'm not doing Angie tonight. It's too much. We'll do Angie tomorrow, guys. We've got to pace it out. It, you know. Pagey and Torian because the ex, it wasn't about racism. It was more how I made people feel because with that word, like I hurt a lot of people unintentionally as well, Carla said, but I still hurt them whichever way, right? Like I offended them badly. Uh, so like they learned to like, they let us know how much I'd hurt people and I don't really know how to explain. I can't. I'm not good with words, you know, and explain. But, but do you feel that you, you, you know, they've taught you something? They've taught you. Yes, yes. I did listen to what they said. And again, on my fake account, I used to go in and in their lives, listen to what they were saying about things because I needed to understand why they thought I was wrong. But then I did understand. If you know, so it was then, it was then I learned us. That's not even the right word, learnt me. Listen, you have to excuse how I talk. Okay. And okay. I'm not the sharpest. Well, that's good. I mean, at least you're learning. I mean, are you still open to learning more from Torian and Baby? I listen to the lives all the time. I listen to them all the time. So I don't know I do. We've got an exclusive. <laughs> Pearl's got a secret I account. I do, but I do listen all the time to the lives. Yeah, but maybe it's better to do that going in undercover and listening and understand. Listen, if I went in there, there's still people that will never, ever, ever, like, want anything to do with us, if you know what I mean. So why go in and you're causing that horse to lot of hate? Oi, I've got a naughty question. <laughs> yeah. Yes or no? I bet you sneaked into Laura's on your undercover account, be honest. I swear my kids' lives definitely one million percent not. Oh, no. Okay. But that's a good idea, though. That's good, because I've got another account nobody would ever know as well, which is, you know, it's nice to have Even a little... Angie, that. sometimes I go into Angie's and just sit there on their account, because <laughs> when you go in on your own, your banner goes across the room, everybody knows you're in, and then I feel ignorant if I miss a comment when they all saying, hello, Pearl, how are you? And you miss them when they go up. So sometimes I just want to sit there and chill and listen and I'll go in on that account. Oh, somebody says, do you still go to church? I'm not a big church goer. I go when I have to. But yeah, I'd still do. This is a good one. Who is Pearl's guilty pleasure to watch on TikTok? What's that mean? Like, who do you secretly watch? Like, Guilty pleasure, like with Chelsea, yeah? Um, Chelsea Liar. Well, I watch her yeah. all the time because, listen, she still right. has me rolling about. For all we argue, there's not no hate there. And I know I could be in a box with her tomorrow. It wouldn't bother us. But so this is what I'm saying. That's what guilty pleasure. pleasure wouldn't bother me. This is what guilty pleasure means, like oh, Chelsea. Right. She's a love-hate character, but Chelsea. secretly we watch her. I Chelsea. told her myself. I told her secretly, sometimes I go in and basically take the piss out of her. She'll say, oh, it's that fucking pearl in here again. I'll ever see I'm in. Yeah, but it's harmless banter, isn't it? Like, we yeah. all got, yeah. you know, it's TikTok, man. It's yeah. not real life. Well, I can't go into Chelsea's. I never go in on my fake account. I go in on my proper account. So she knows I'm in there. Oh, here we go, Pearl. We've got a big question here. <laughs> this is coming from Tammy Vardy. Yes. Ask her. Do you like LGBT? If anybody knows me on the app, you know all of my friends is uh, G A Y. Huh? Say that again, sorry. I don't even know how to fucking spell it properly. What did you yeah. say? What did you say? They all back for the other side. Gay? Yeah. I thought you'd yeah. for saying that. Yeah. Right. The word is homosexual or gay. 
So they're asking, asking you, basically, they're asking you. Oh, don't start that. They all call me transgender on this app for fuck's sake. Oh. <laughs> no, they're just saying. Um, oh. you know where all my friends are. And if I go anywhere. Just saying, <laughs> basically, what they're asking, do you like gay people? Gay, it's yes. okay to say gay. It's okay to say gay. Oh, is it? Well, that's why I never say that word because people tell me you can be banal. Oh, I'm but saying no, that, all you know. my friends are gay. Like, not all of them, but most of my friends are gay. No, it doesn't bother me that. There you go, guys. We're in 2024. Does Pearl agree? Uh, does Pearl agree? Oh, hang on. Some, here we go. Let me just finish this off. So, a a Arab Acorn said, that's just one letter of LGBT. Right, guys, break it down for me. Lesbian, I think, is it gay, bisexual, and transgender? Is that what it means? Correct me, guys. It's I'm whatever people are, though. What's it got to do with me? And if they're my friend, they're my friend. If I like them, I like them. I haven't got no... Okay, Sally, Sally Ann says, all right, is it accepted in your community? Basically, no. But to me, it doesn't bother me. It really doesn't bother me. Exactly. So oh, I'm on screen with a lot of gay people. I have friends. A lot of people sees Aaron come down to the trailer. He's gay. No, and they just said it. They just said it. They just said. Um, so I'm Paul's friend off the app, and I'm gay. Some one of your mods is in there. She, uh, yeah. Yes. I'm, so only asking, no, I'm only asking the questions with no, love. No, I'm just trying to explain. And they come onto the site, and people know if they're my friend, they're good people. So, no. She's, an Aries. She's an Aries, Monty. Someone yeah. said, what's Pearl's uh, star sign? Does Pearl... Uh, oh, God, here we go. Does Pearl apologise for calling Zach a fairy? Definitely 100% not. Oh, you haven't? <laughs> he called my friend a fairy, so I repaid the favour. Uh, oh, somebody said, what's the I stand for? What I? Oh, no, in the LGBT, I'm still learning. Which four people, here's a good question, Pearl. Which four people would you invite for a dinner party? They can be alive or unalive. Four people. I bet she says Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Well, that's a good question. Think about it. Someone that's alive now, it could be a celebrity. Angie. All right, Angie's coming. Number th three people in the world, whether they're alive or a past. Do you like Elvis, for example? Oh, well, who doesn't like a bit of Elvis than him? <laughs> but to a dinner party, that would be a bit thick and boring. Who would? I'm saying that would be a bit boring for a fucking dinner party. Now, a good party and piss up. Get Elvis in here. Right, we've got Elvis and Angie. Bloody hell, run, Elvis, run! <laughs> well, I did used to ask, well, honestly, my all time idol growing up was, I mean, even he's an old man now, but I used to love David Essex, right? Oh, I remember him. I used to, oh, David Essex with his blue oh, eyes. Was, was he a traveller? Was yeah. he a traveller? I, I used to love him. him. I used to love him. And of course, for a good bit of banter and everything, it's got to be Tyson. I'd have to have Tyson here now. Hang on, which Tyson? Fury. <laughs> Oi, back off, Pearl. He's married. <laughs> Oh, we see them up and down all the time. But Have you met him? The best laugh. Years ago, we used to stop on the same grounds as them. Uh, but um, no, so for a good bit of fun and party atmosphere and that, definitely Tyson and Paris, but Angie and Elvis, there you go. Okay. Yeah, but that's only three. We need no, another one. Tyson and Paris, Angie and Elvis. Who in Paris? Angie Elvis. Angie Elvis, Tyson and Paris. Paris who? Tyson's, uh, Tyson's wife. Oh, are you related? <laughs> Angel. Uh, I just want to put it out there, guys. I am a psychic. Uh, my legs are gone cold. The dog's running around my legs. Just got to put it in there. Uh, so, Pearl. 
I used to love, um, oh, what was that program? The Gypsy. Remember the program with the girl? Oh, that was a heap of shit. My Big oh. Fat Gypsy Wedding. What was it called? My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding. So what was the matter? Tell me, tell me, Pearl. What happened there? What's it's going on? 75% that was on there was not gypsies or travellers. And it was made for telly that. Definitely entertainment for telly because it was a heap of shit. But what I do want to say, look, I'm going to say it, Pearl, because I love him anyway. Paddy, Doherty. Oh, Pat, well, my, his uh, daughter-in-law mm. is my cousin. I told you, I knew it. Family. <laughs> I used to love him. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. Mike, Kelly Marie is married to his son, Johnny. You yeah. heard it in the first. We only deal with exclusives. Angel Goddess. <laughs> what was I going to ask you? I was going to ask you something then about travellers. I was going to ask. Oh, so tell me about a Appleby. Tell me about, tell me about that. Oh, Goddess, you would love it. There's thousands and thousands and thousands get there. This has gone on for hundreds of years, Appleby Horse Fair. It's a chartered fair. And listen, they come from all around the world to come to that fair. And it's um, in the beginning of June, like the first uh, week in June, up to the middle of June. And it's just traditions and it goes from one Wednesday to the next. The first Wednesday in June is the day they pull on, and the second Wednesday in June is fair day. And listen, it's just, it's unreal. The thousands and thousands and thousands of people that come, and it's when sometimes some families are only once a year, that's where they meet up at. If there's any green. But why didn't you film it last month? If there's any grievances aired out on there, like some people will wait forever because they never see... Do you know, like I've just said, some families only see each other once a year and it's on Appleby Hill. Mm. Sometimes, there's all kinds of goes on there, but, but there's stalls on there, there's, there's everything in the world you can mention that is sold on there. Uh, but it's an experience. If you've never been, and it's up in like... Uh, Cumbria, Appleby, Westmoreland, that's where it is. And it's definitely, <laughs> if you only ever once in your life, it's somewhere worth going. I've got to ask this. Here we go. They're starting. <laughs> so Arab Acorn said, ask if gay people can go. Look, guys, in reality, in it's reality, I'm sure there are gay travellers, whether it's undercover yeah, or on. There are. But you, you never said was the gay travellers or gypsies. You said, is it acceptable? Oi, Pearl, I've got a question. Mm -hmm. Dum, dum, dum. Are you ready? Yeah. Is there any travellers that are married to any black people or different? Yeah. Um, of course there is. There's gypsies and travellers that's married to people that's not gypsies and travellers. Nationalities? Oh, nationalities, yeah. Okay. Well, there you go, you know. Uh, are they accepted? She's just, oh, yeah, what's it like? So, supposing your brother came home with a black woman, oh, what would happen? Well, my brother's got a wife, but if he did, it wouldn't bother to me, it really wouldn't bother to me. This is what they're saying, basically, in that culture, would they be shunned? Just like if there was, all right, same with the gay community. Well, right? I can't, listen, to me, if that's what I'm saying, it wouldn't bother to me. I can't speak for everybody else. But if my brother wasn't with his wife and fetched a black woman on, that would not bother me. So that's me. But anybody I can't, else? Anybody I else? I can't speak for, for other people, can okay, I? Okay, okay. So, um, Lay said, I'm a gypsy, born and raised and a lesbian. So, Lay. There's one that wouldn't bother to me either. That would not bother to me. But what I'm trying to say to you, I can only speak for me. I can't speak for other people. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's like, okay. But that's what I said, we've all got our communities and we've yeah. all got... Uh, yeah. um, but you know, the way me personally, colour, religion, sexuality, nothing bothers to me. Nothing. 
Also, we all God's children, we all live on the surf, we all should be allowed to live on the surf. End of.